Okay, I was wrong about x-ray diffraction. There is a way to use x-ray diffraction with large polymers. There's only one way that I can come up with so far. Uh, you have to grind the crystal, the crystal dif x-ray diffraction. You have to grind it from one end. Slowly take single tiny layers off that are per atom atomic layers and for every layer that you take off because x-ray diffraction only can detect things from the surface of the crystal on an end whichever end it might be uh, it could be three-dimensionally ended but it comes from any end it only does the surface so if you grind the surface of x-ray diffraction crystals you're going to eventually come to measure all the surfaces per atom. And then you can get large polymers. Bingo.